Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a quick unboxing and walkthrough of a new oracle deck that I have. This is the Witch's Wisdom Oracle Cards. Uh, Barbara Michael John Free, Flavia Kate Peters, illustrated by Richard Crooks. This, uh, I saw the images of these on a uh, Facebook group I was on, and I really loved the, the pictures that I saw, the imagery. So I had to order them, and here we go. They came in a couple days ago, and I haven't had a chance to get to them yet. This is from Llewellyn, so we'll see how the card stock and um, how the quality of the cards will be. Llewellyn does sort of change up their game from time to time. So we have a 48 card and guidebook set. Uh, Re-engaging with wisdom of the old ways. Each card will speak to you of methods, spells, and magic that connects you with the elements, mystical realms, and spirit to bring about a more powerful sense of positivity and change in your life. These cards can be used by a seasoned witch or one who is dabbling in the path of the wise. Venture down this magical avenue and draw upon ancient wisdom that is still relevant today. So we've got the 48 cards, keywords, a guidebook, sample spreads, easy to remember and repeat invocations. Oh, that'll be interesting to see. A detailed reading and factual information about each tool and more. And then we've got a couple of websites here. SolarisLTD.com, S-O-L-A-R-U-S, and Llewellyn.com. Printed in China. I don't see a date on here, possibly inside. But they were new to me when I first saw them on Facebook. So we've got a nice, nice sturdy box to store them in. A very attractive guidebook that matches the cover of the box. So a little substantial guidebook here, over 100 pages. Uh, these same authors also have a couple of other oracle decks, Sacred Sites, Oracle Cards. Mm, that sounds interesting. The planet's most sacred sites. And then another uh, Divination of the Ancients Oracle Cards. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to check those out too. Okay. 2016 was the date on this. So we have a little introduction here, a little dedication. You are the most powerful magical tool in your life. It's time to use your wisdom wisely and change your life forevermore. So mode it be. Okay, what we have. Introduction, how to use, sample spreads, messages for each of the cards, and then the acknowledgments. So let's see. We've got a pentagram spread here. And then we've got grayscale images of the cards. A little, little poem there. And a little, uh, little write-up on the meaning of the cards. So, I don't think we need to go into the book today. I think you'd rather see the cards themselves. going to set the book aside for now. It'll be a lot of fun to read through later on. Here are the beautiful backs. I really love the sparkly stars on the cards. It really gives it a lot of pizzazz. They're rather large size cards. I can kind of get them in my hand just barely. We've got uh, silver gilding and it doesn't look like it's on there too thickly, so I don't think it's going to flake off real easily. And the cardstock is very nice, actually. It's not too cardboardy. It's flexible yet strong. Okay, so I'm just going to run through them very quickly here. All right, so the first card is air. I'm presuming these are in alphabetical order, air, altar, they appear to be, and that would make it much easier 
to find something in the book also because they're alphabetically arranged. Yeah, A's, B's, C's, and so forth. So that's a pretty nice feature. So air, we have an element. Imagination is the keyword. Alter, dedication. Ancestors, remembrance. Athame, boundaries, the ritual sword, Beltane, fertility, celebrated in May, Book of Shadows, secret, broomstick or clearance, and just for fun let's kind of see what the guidebook tells us about one of these cards. Let's go with broomstick here. Broomstick or clearance. Give a tickle and flick with a helpful broom. Let's clear some space and make some room. Open windows, let air in. Clear the way around within. The magic is worked with harm to none, so mote it be. There it is done. And then we've got a little paragraph about the witch's wisdom in using a broom. Witch's foresight. Time for spring cleaning, clean up your act, purify your thoughts and actions. Broomstick revealed. The broomstick or bee sum is a magical tool used to sweep away negative energy from the ritual space and to sweep in positive energy before the ritual. Placed upright at the front door or by the hearth, it protects those who live within the home. Used in hand fasting, the couple holds hands and jump over the broomstick, bestowing fertility. I kind of have a thing about broomsticks. I've got a little broomstick collection. I love my broomsticks. I've got a couple by my hearth. Okay, so broomstick or clearance. Candles, representing magic. Cauldron, containment. Chalice, fulfillment. Look how beautifully detailed that is. Cloak or concealment, earth or grounding, familiar, guardian, of course we have to have a black cat for our familiar, that is just traditional, fire, passion, hand fasting or union, oh look there they are jumping the broom back there, hearth, or homecoming, herbal kitchen, alchemist, hex or banishment, high priest or priestess, responsibility. I like that key word for priest or priestess. You do have a responsibility when you're practicing magic. Homeland or foundation, Nice old-timey looking map here of uh, the old world. Imbolc or awakening. I have a special affinity for that particular time of the year. That's my dad's birthday, 1st of February. Lady goddess or feminine. Letha or intensification. Wonderful, look at that. Lord or God and masculine. Lunasad, prosperity. Maybon, balance. Magic circle, protection. Moon, cycles. Ostara or incubation. Pentacle, respect. Ritual, invocation. Soen, or death. The last holiday of the year. Scrying mirror, or shadow. 
very cool. Spell or manifestation. Spirit initiation. Staff stability. Tarot cards for guidance. We've got, uh, I think these are all the cards that are in this deck. Nice. Wand for intention. Watchtower of the East for spring. Watchtower of the North for winter. Watchtower of the South for summer. Watchtower of the West for autumn. That's just how I also relate the tarot cards as well because to me autumn is water and west. Summer is also uh, south and wands. North is pentacles and winter. And east is swords and spring. Lovely. Then we have another element here, water, representing cleansing. The Wiccan Reed. Ethos. Kind of fits in with the responsibility of the priest or priestess. Witch as a healer. Witch's Cottage, security. Doesn't that look cozy and inviting? It really does. I could live there forever. Witch's Hat, power. And last card in the deck, we have Yule for Rebirth. So these cards really are imbued with a wonderful sense of magic and delight. And I really love them. I think I'm going to probably take a card uh, for my altar, maybe a card a week, and use for meditation. So I can't wait to, uh, I can't wait to use them for that purpose. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough, and we will see you again next time. Take care.